Another of the specialized knots, this is the icicle hitch, this time coming with multiple ways to tie it. Now, the very first thing that you need to know is the direction you're going to be dragging the thing in. So we're assuming that off that way, this piece of wood is connected to a very heavy thing, and we want it to go that way. We're going to be tugging on it in this direction. The very first piece of advice that I have for you is you're going to need a lot more line than you think you're going to, because you're going to be wrapping around the body of whatever it is that you're dragging many times. See how all of a sudden that gigantic length is quite a bit shorter. And you're also going to want to leave a healthy sized tail because this is kind of a difficult knot to dress. Okay, so I've got our coil here and we're on the side where the standing end is wrapping around towards us. We take our working end, we cross over it, around the post, back around the standing end, and then we follow the standing end around. What we've done here is the standing end the whole, joins the knot as a spiral, and when we come back around here, we're going in between and continuing in the same direction as the spiral. Okay, so I've got myself a decent sized tail there, and when I tug up on this, that's barely going to shift, although it will shift a bit. This holds so strongly that you can use it on a tapered object, that's why it's called an icicle hitch. You can use it on a marlin spike. I would not recommend using it on an actual icicle. They are not known for their strength. Alright, so now when you undo this knot, give it a bit of slack here, and we're going to shift it. I've applied slack to all of the turns here, and we're going to reveal the additional method for tying that, and that is, it's just, you start at the same place, see how long that tail is, you start in the same place, and then, you see it goes, comes, emerges from the back, stays in the back, and drops this little loop down here, and give myself a little bit more of the tail and then pass the loop over the body of the knot before you dress it. Body of the post. You know what I mean. <laughs> this is for when you have access to this, but don't necessarily have access to that. Or maybe you do and you're just lazy. The tricksy method here is a little bit easier to keep track of. You don't have to remember quite so much. When you're doing the normal leading method, you have to remember it goes around, crosses back, drops between the spiral, and through a pair of these. It is somewhat related to the pile hitch with the uh, turn up like that, but if you try to do the multiple pile hitch thing, you'll eventually wind up with just the multiple round turns right here. It is a very strong knot. Uh, it build, builds up friction very quickly, it, and it grips and drags better than even the rolling hitch does. And so if you're dragging something or if you have to suspend something from a pole and there's no way to low outcropping or anything like that, and nothing else will do, this is great for taking parallel weight. Alright, 
If you found this useful, you can give me a like to improve my ranking in search results. You can give me a subscription to see more content like in the future. And you can also support me either on my Etsy shop, where I sell things like this, or quick release paracord items, or you can subscribe to me on Patreon, which is a new voluntary subscription service that I am a part of to incentivize me to make more like these uh, on a regular basis and have a more direct form of support than just clicking on an upload. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about it, I have a little discussion video right here or you can visit the page which will be up in this region and if you're watching this on a non-youtube service you can see all of that stuff wherever the description is i presume it's underneath because that makes good design sense um patreon is entirely optional uh, but you can hear more about that in the explanation video you can also help me out by sharing this video around to people who need to know this kind of thing. I do other kinds of knots, like for shoelaces. I do... Uh, let's look at the rapid deployment playlist. Um, thank you very much.